it's it's curious. We are back with another messing around on Zelda. Last episode we got blown up by I figured it out watching it back. There's some bombs up there. Each time I was stood on the platform over there, I would basically blow myself up by dropping the bombs onto myself. I feel like it was pretty clear watching that back. But yeah, I realized, I was like, oh my god, they're going to be above me. There's going to be something up there that means that I can't get them. And that is exactly what the case was. So, the plan for today. <laughs> I am quite keen to get back on the path of the first boss. But, there's my problem, guys. That. One bow arrow isn't going to be enough. Is it? I'm going to be fighting a dragon in the sky, so I want to get for more of those. That's the main plan for today. Bombs. Lots and lots of bomb flowers. I don't even know why I need to be on this dude. I feel like he's not going to be useful for me. Is starting the depths too much? There's so many bomb flowers and things like that. But also caves, so. But then, like, likes. Depths is. We can't exactly get very far into the mission anyway, so might as well do that, is what I'm thinking. Okay, we've arrived. Uh, from this point, we want to go ahead and find Robbie, who is like going to be under here. Hey, a storm brewing. Cool. Alright, let's start the depths then. A pleasant morning. Oh yeah, we got the pure pad. Alright, so they're chatting about the chasm. Uh, our little Josh is saying she wants to go in there, but Robbie's like, nah, you can't do that. I won't have that. Look at us, the fine soldier getting raped into everything. <laughs> Camera, that is not something that we have yet. So that will also be something that we get from this mission, which is kind of cool. We can start filling up the Hyrule Compendium, or whatever it is. Do you reckon if we get a fight with the boss, it will fill that up? Alright, let's blast through this. Alright, so we can head over. Let's do it in the storm, guys. That's too sick. Okay, wait, hold up. Okay, wait, hold up. Better. Alright, I think we're not metal. Oh, jumping in a storm. Super cool. Can't do this skydiving. Can't do this parachuting. Can only do this in Zelda. That's so cool. Hey, we're above the storm! That is awesome. Okay, wait, where's the chasm? Don't get distracted by the storm. Oh, are we gonna go back into the storm? If so, that's so, so, so cool. Hey, That's too dope. What happens if we get struck by lightning while soaring through the air like a bird? We take damage. <laughs> that's what happens in the air. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. Hey look, we haven't got that shrine yet, I don't think. Because we haven't been here. Might as well get the shrine so we can return easily. Why wouldn't we? Hyrule Field Chasm. Nice. Uh, Link. Wait. Does anybody else do this, like, nervous leg tick thing where you like bounce your leg. I do it all the time. I'm real bad for it guys. <laughs> like you find that like little nerve in your foot and you just bounce on it. I don't know if it's a nervous tick. I don't know if it's like a just a comforting thing. I don't know if it's just I have no idea. Let me know in the comments if you do anything like that. Any weird little ticks or anything like that. It's just uh, it always makes me chuckle. I feel like I have a couple of them. But the leg bouncing is a big thing. Alright guys, let's do it! Did we descend too fast? <laughs> cool though. Alright, we're here guys. Love it. Alright, we're here in the depths. It is 10.45 in the morning. We are good to go. Let's get some of those. Oh, we can instantly start collecting stuff, guys. I don't even know if I need these deep flies, but they're cool. Faint glow. We've kind of got glowing stuff, but, you know. Might as well get stuff that we don't have. It's super cool. Oh, 
Alright, muddle butt over there. Let's get that. Oh, this is exciting. I don't know, I feel like a staffy at a dog park picking up lots of new scents. Oh. I sorted it instead. Whoops. Where'd they go? Why would they be there? Are there going to be other things that can light up? Why would they have their own little category behind that when you saw them? Interesting. Sorry guys. Keep happening. I know I can fire them off into the distance, but I need my arrows and I don't feel like that's really too smart right now. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll change my mind and want to, I don't know, light some stuff up easily so I can find some bombs. Because I can get more arrows easily. The bomb flowers I need. I like the idea of the light roots and stuff, I think it's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie guys. Cool. It would be cool if something happened like above ground when you dispelled the light roots. I don't know, like the tree grew above ground or something so that you could like, I don't know, ascend it or find it above ground once you're done so you could see the bits marked on the map. That'd be really kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie, the more I think about it. Alright, I can't just run around getting excited. Or can I? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's have a look. Let's have like a gander around in it. Ooh boy. <gasps> That's why we gander. This is why we look. Ooh. Blue lights over there. What is it? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Are those the the Poe thingies? <sighs> oh no. I don't even know what's over here. I'm being pretty scandalous. I should have let some stuff out but <gasps> Poe's Old School Reference Time. Oh my god, guys. Ah, these have been a thing for so long. Oh my god, I don't think they were a thing in Breath of the Wild. I mean, I am I am fine with me. That's really cool that they've added Poe's back in. Oh, I used to be obsessed with Poe collecting back in Twilight Princess. They'd have like the little lantern that they'd shake and they'd attack you if you got near. But then if you were a wolf, you could like change your senses and you'd be able to see that they weren't a lantern. They were like a little ghost that was attacking you with a... Like a scythe or something. But yeah, man, they were like one of my favorite things uh and i think that was like a good money maker or something you could get like bare rupees off him or something okay that's a not a place i want to be am i probably getting a bit carried away and not doing what i'm meant to be doing down here at all yes what happens if i pop into the gloom hands i've had stories of the gloom hands being down here how many 107 oh buddy our little traveling got us some good arrows and some good stuff going on. We were so empty for everything. What was over there? Yeah, moblins and stuff. I feel like that. I want to touch the tree. It looks like a crimson root from Minecraft. You know, guys? I want to touch it, but I feel like it's going to hurt. <gasps> My impulse... Oh god damn, my impulsive damn decisions. They always get the power of me. <laughs> nope. He's gonna hurt me. He's on the gloom, I can't really get him. No. Not today, mate. If I get hit by this, do I like lose my life share if I remember correctly? I think I remember from when I did the how-tos when I was learning a little bit about it. I, I, that's not, I feel like that's not fair. Mm. Oh, look at my big brain being well clever, guys. Yeah. How smart was that, dudes? Or is that just me? Is that like a really low-key thing that everyone probably does? <laughs> thought I'm being cool like I don't know collecting it off the gloom of Ultra Hound but maybe that's just a given 
All right, all right, all right. We need to get back on track because I don't know what I'm doing out here now. Um, I think I ran this way. I grabbed a pose and then I, I don't think I jumped over any logs. And if I did, I'm pretty sure I came back the same way. I came under this route. Yep, look, there's the fire. All right, nice. So there's a light route that we just dispelled. Let's see which way we're meant to be going. Um, that's a matey. Is this the matey we started with? I think it is. Alright. Yeah, it is. Alright. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We're back on track. Um, I want stuff. Hey, there's some of those deep flies over there. I suppose I could, like, sell those. There's a model bird and more deep flies. Do they sell for like anything? Alright, let's see what we got over here. Bombs. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, a new one. We got a puff shroom. Cool. I like those. Um, model bird over here. Hoping we pop into some more bomb flowers. I can see one next to me. Ah, oh, look at them all, guys. This is grand. I feel like I'm getting them too easy. There's going to be something to stop me in a minute. Isn't there? All right, okay, cool. I did a how-to on this. How am I, like, not struggling, but, you know, doing a thing, I suppose. But that was close. <gasps> Six in the evening. Maybe I should sleep. Where are the frog things? The frog things could like give like good amounts of zonite. There they are, they're over there. Do you reckon I had any arrows that I could collect from that? Because I lost a couple, let's be real. Okay, I'm just going to hop over here. Get that puff shroom. It's not too far away from those guys. I don't. I feel like I'm not quite ready for that yet. I haven't got any Sunday lion. Is that what I really need? Yeah. Hey, look at the bomb flowers. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Maybe I should sleep. <laughs> oh my god. I remember these things from Twilight Princess. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Those are the... Uh, I want to call them like bulba frogs or something. No, those are what we've got in this one. Those are like the um. Oh god, I'll pop a picture up of the big one, the mother from <laughs> Twilight Princess. Um, my head was scrambling for words during that battle. <laughs> but yeah, the frogs from Twilight Princess. They were in the forest temple. I want to say, and it climbed on the ceiling, and it was like not. Uh, mini boss, kind of, I suppose. But yeah, like they were gigantic compared to those. But that's what they remind me of. I don't know if they're the same thing. I feel like they are. Zelda's gotten pretty good at bringing back some of the old stuff within this one. It's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. I do. It's making me really want to go back and play some of the old Zeldas. Like for example, I saw the. Um, I bought the Switch. Oh. Oh, that Aracuda's gonna mess me something up serious maybe if I just get onto like a higher bit oh no oh my god mm -mm -mm. let's go let's go ah! and there's Robbie do you we go just bring all the monsters to Robbie he'll fight them right 
Where are they? What happened to them? Whoa. Oh no. What have I done? <sighs> Alright guys, uh... Collect the arrow I shot down the hill, wherever it's gone. One there, one there. Alright, because uh, that was some pretty loose firing. I just spotted a... Woo! Spoiled a couple of those. Very nice, very nice. Alright, get the motor bird and then speak to Robbie. If those bomb flowers have we gone now, guys? 13. <laughs> we can take out whatever we want now, let's be real. Okay, I'm acting like 13 is lies. It's, it, I mean, it is for me right now. I have had none, pretty much. I was on one. So, you know, 12 up. I'm guessing. Are those some pose? Ooh, pose, pose, pose. I don't even know what they're for yet. And I'm guessing about getting them. It's just nostalgic as hell for me. Lots of metal buds. I don't really mind about the deep flies. I've got loads of those now. I, I feel like something's going to pop out of me while I'm getting these pose. I'm having too much fun. Hey, one of the statues. Cool. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go and find Robbie wherever I left him to. Ah, look at that. What is it? Just some zonite. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, Robbie? <gasps> that soldier up there. Uh, hell no, guys. Do you see him? Uh, no. Alright, there's a light route. I see the light route. Let's go. Let's just get back to that um, before I do something stupid. Um, I want those pose. That's why I actually came over here for. Damn. That's not discreet enough at all. Oh, look at them all. This is fantastic. I literally don't even know what they're for, but I love them. Uh, what's following me? There is definitely something following me. These things are a pain in the ass to hit. <clears throat> Alright, let's get my rewards and then let's get the hell out of here. No! Not today. Die, potato. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get back to Robbie. Nah, not today, guys. I'm not feeling it. Alright, we got Robbie. Let's just chat to him. Alright, guys. We're gonna. Camera is locked, so we're gonna unlock the camera. Then we're gonna take a photo of that statue. And that'll be our, like, little mission tick. Off. Hey, complimentian. Cool. I've been waiting for this. They, they left. They saw the. They saw Robbie and got scared. They were like, Robbie is solid. We're leaving. All right, let's take a photo of this thing at one thirty in the morning. Good photo. There we go. Cool. And then we can take this back up to the surface and take this to Joshua, if I remember correctly. Alright guys, uh, so back to the surface. We've got the light route, we can travel back down whenever and we can get some more stuff but I'm pretty chuffed with what we got. But yeah, maybe next we can search out a cave and that cave will be maybe on our way up to Rito Village. Where is he? Alright, let's go and show this photo to Joshua and Robbie. Alright, so that's our photo. Decent. Mm. Before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you. So we get a little ting for doing that. We got some zone out, nice. We think we need a hundred. We need to spend some more time down there before we get uh, enough to start doing some energy cell stuff. Maybe I'll grind some out off screen and just get some zone eye out. So maybe the next time we catch up, I'll have a lot more zone eye. Um, obviously, if that's an interest to you guys, let me know in the comments. But. I feel like it's not that interesting just going back to the Sky Islands and searching some of the depths. I'll do the depth stuff on camera probably, but the Sky Island. 
<laughs> but yeah, guys, that is actually that mission sorted and done. Hey, the pose. That was a bit close. Swordsman, are you okay over there? You just look like you were somewhere else just now. Oh, I bet you're interested in that strange stone. It's covered in depths. Start digging into it more. No, let me dig into it now. You who stand before me, I am the one who returns pose to the afterlife. Where they belong. <sighs> pose. Pose a pitiful being to have lost their way home and wandered the depths of this land. I love it. Giovanni, where are you? Is that like Giovanni? Is it gold Giovanni? Is that him? In stone? <laughs> Alright, here's a poke for you. Take one. Oh yes, this is indeed a poke. What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? I'm so excited. I should take this. A dark clump, an unusual substance. It's too cold to touch and it seems to be filled with a pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get an instant gloom resistant effect. I love pose. <gasps> Dark tunic, 150 pose. Ooh. All right, guys, we are gonna finish our mission here. We've got some pose, we've got some stuff going on. We got a dark clump, hella cool. Uh, and then we're gonna pick it up next with actually getting back on the road to Rio Village and completing that uh, first boss. I'm kind of excited for it. And I feel like we're a bit more ready now. We've got some bomb flowers, got a place to buy bomb flowers which is how cool. we didn't see that coming out today's episode so big up to that we're gonna sign on out thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe it's all free down in the bottom and it really helps it suggests out my videos to everybody else maybe uh let them know that you're enjoying them and uh yeah pops them up on that home page and those future videos so don't forget to hit those buttons <laughs> cheers guys and we're out it's been chorus Brrr.